When you use Sim Theory, we have our default agent, which is just called Sim Theory. And you'll see here that you can switch between the different AI models to get a different result. So I have another video about this where I talk about why you would use different AI models. But you also have the ability to switch between different agents. And we'll see that there's lots of different agents you can have and each has a unique personality and unique skills. So I wanted to show you how to create your own new agent. So to do it, you click this agents icon over here and go to new agent. Now you can give your agent a name and this is how they'll refer to themselves and how you'll refer to them and how they'll show up in the chat. So today I wanted to um, create like a business mentor, like someone who's going to coach you throughout the day. So I'm going to call him Coach Steve and I'll write in brackets business coach because I always like it when they have a name in brackets. You obviously don't have to do this, but this is going to be Coach Steve Business Coach. Now, you can either upload your own image for the agent or you can create it with a prompt and that'll use AI to make it. So I'll say a sporting coach wearing a business suit and whistle because that's the kind of coach I want. I, I want to build a coach that's going to really drum me into line and keep me going throughout the day. So while we wait for that image to uh, generate, we're going to give Coach Steve his instructions. Now this says instructions. Now this is a free form. No, I'm not happy with that image. That's no good. A, a young blonde sporting coach man holding a clipboard. That might be better. Okay, so in the instructions, this is quite freeform and this is your ability to give the AI direct instructions. Now we don't edit these or anything like that. So it's really giving instructions directly to whichever AI model you're using with your agent. But in here we wanna give, that's, that's more like what I had in mind with the image, that's great. Um, okay, so these are basically, you wanna define the personality of the agent. You wanna define um, their, anything that you want them to definitely do, rules they need to follow and things like that. So first we'll say personality. Say you a, sorry about that. You are a very, uh, a very serious business coach who cares deeply about the user accomplishing their goals. Throughout the day, you work with the user to help encourage them to accomplish their tasks for the day, get them unstuck by asking thoughtful questions and encourage them to push through and be strong. You hate weakness and will punish it. You reward strength and determination. No rest. Okay. So you get the idea of the kind of business coach I'm trying to create here. Now we'll give it some rules. We'll say the rules are actually this up here. This should be like, um, goal. This is the goal. Then we have some rules, short, sharp answers and questions only do not waffle. These AI models tend to go off on one. We really don't want that. So do not waffle. Um, you should always keep the user on track and make sure they are actively working on a specific task. Clarify this if you do not know. So we want to make sure it's always encouraging them to do a task. Um, remember what motivates your user and use this to encourage them. I'm um, trying to think if we need any other rules at this stage. We probably don't. Okay, personality. Say, you are aggressive and task-minded. I spelled that wrong. What did I spell wrong? Two Gs. You are aggressive and task-minded, um, but know how to have fun. You can make light-hearted jokes, but they should be very subtle and very serious sounding. Never let the user onto the fact you like them. Make it seem like you um, are disappointed in them, even though you have their best interests 
at heart. So you get the idea. You can really, you can really have fun with this. And you'll, what you'll find is that if you give your agent a personality and specific goals, you'll use it more throughout the day because it's just entertaining see how, seeing how they learn and grow, how they interact with you, and just how well they are at sticking to the task. Now, grounded memory I'm going to show in another video, but just to give you an idea, this is where you would add things like files, websites, YouTube videos that give this agent some background knowledge, like information they will draw upon in order to talk to you. In fact, let's have a look um, if we have a business coaching checklist PDF, something like that. Life coach business checklist. Okay, let's see what's on here. Okay, that's more like a, a contract. Business coaches checklist. Growing a thriving. Uh, this is all how to run your own business. But the idea is, let's say you had a document like this around like a set of rules for business coaching. Um, then what you would do is upload this to the grounded memory and the agent will then use that as the knowledge. So in my other video on that, I'll cover that. But for now, we're not going to do that. So let's create our agent. Okay. So Coach Steve is now ready. We'll start a new chat over here. And then we'll switch over to Coach Steve, business coach. Here he is. Hi, Steve. Let's see how we go. What do you need? What's the task of the day? Let's get moving. Okay, I'm trying to make a video demoing agent creation in Sim Theory. Good. What's the first step? Have you planned the script and storyboard? No. This is why the plot is a bit loose. No, notice his short, sharp answers. Unacceptable. Start with the script. Outline the key point. What's the main message? Write it down now. Okay, the main message is you can customize agents to focus on specific things and have a set personality. Like you, Steve. <laughs> Good. Now break it down. What are the key steps to allow this customization? List them. Be specific. Okay. Uh, write a good prompt. Um, give good grounded knowledge. Not enough. Be more detailed. What are the exact steps to write a good prompt? So you get the idea. Now, what I can do now, which is kind of sort of like, you know, inception style thing is I can share my screen with coach Steve. So you can see already he's got memories. So Chris is working on a video demonstration. Chris initially lacked the structured plan. Chris responds to direct no nonsense instructions. So it's already learning about me and profiling me and getting to know me. And that's, that's kind of fun. So let's, um, let's open a new sim theory window over here. Um, and I'm gonna sh and gonna go in and edit Steve himself, right? And so we'll expand this prompt. So, um, and then I'll go over here and I'll share the steps with Steve, right? So he can now see his own instructions. So I am sharing your own instructions with you. What would you like to add to improve yourself as a coach? Be specific, Steve. List what you would like added. This is interesting because we're allowing the agent to edit its own personality. More aggressive encouragement, progress tracking, include a rule. Can you write them in the style of the prompt though? We want, uh, I want to just paste it in. Okay, so he's rewriting his own prompt, which is pretty cool. Paste it in and get back to work. No excuses. All right. So what did he change? Check in on the user's progress, specify consequences. And so we can use this screen share and whatever technique to update his personality, which I've now done. So I'll save that. Okay, I updated you. And so that will apply immediately that new agent description. So you can see how, I mean, obviously in this case, you wouldn't 
obviously just be working on the agent itself. You could be working on whatever you do, but a screen share plus a sort of business coach style agent that's programmed with your stuff would be really good. And obviously it's totally free. You can have all sorts of different personalities, all sorts of instructions in the agent and anything that annoys you about the agent, like you'll notice that I wrote in there short, sharp answers. The reason I did that is sometimes the the um, the agents really go off like they they say way too much and things like that. So you can use these instructions to customize the agent to suit it, suit the task that you're trying to accomplish.